All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Asabi Asabase, episode eight. Mm. Let's mm. let's get back into this oh, yeah. wonderful, crazy, horrible show with wonderful, crazy, horrible girls. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. oh my god. We got quite a bit of, of Hanako stupidity in the previous episode. Indeed. But I also loved in some ways how much of it was kind of like referential back to the stuff that she had done across the past. Yep. Like, you know, just she's a public menace. Mm-hmm. Like, well, and also the, the whole bit of the hyper competent bug that she trained mm. with the training arc and everything. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's uh-huh. there's so much I would say about this show that delves into like things where it's like, oh yeah, I've done that in real life. You know, mm. that's uh, oh yeah, that that little game and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, stuff like you know, where you you feel kind of a relatability to this. Right. And then there's everything else where you're just like, mm-hmm. yep. what? <laughs> what? And yet, you can still kind of totally believe that mm. it would happen. Mm. You know, yeah. it's even though it's absolutely outlandish and extreme junior high girls are terrifying man they are yeah so y'all without further ado let's get into this all right everyone and be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below then come back here for the discussion (laughs) i somehow I keep getting surprised by this show. Right? Right? When it makes it perfectly clear that it is going to be extreme mm-hmm. levels of ridiculousness and insanity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yet, oh my god. Like, yep. Like you were saying the Pokemon Go one, that actually felt like 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 by comparison basic compared basic. to the rest yeah. of the Yeah. Like and, no, and it was granted. actually amazing though. And it was amazing. The part where she then looks like, okay, as far as the running gags of this show, yeah, right? Maida's butt laser, I love. Maida in general. Maida in general. Yeah. Hanako, like, being, like, super jealous of other girls and, like, being mm-hmm. like, oh, those awful sluts, you know, because yeah. I'm not popular and whatnot. Right, right. I love that. Mm-hmm. And just her being just an awful person. But then also Missing Olivia's her. armpits. Yes, like, Olivia's armpits is amazing. And oh yes. man, just the just the where where alarms blaring, like <laughs> ultra rare spawn detected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So so I have to make mention though because mm. this is just an important story. It's relevant to the whole yes. Pokemon Go thing. I was insanely addicted to Pokemon Go. I was already someone that kind of walked around just areas and mm-hmm. ran about and stuff like that. That was just stuff I did for fun. And there was a game that basically was going to reward me for that mm-hmm. and create a grind loop for that, you know? Oh my God, sign me the hell up. Yeah. I hit like level 30 so freaking fast in that game. And if you'll remember, level 30 was the point where the hard, sorry, the soft cap on XP started and then the actual stuff that you would need to continue leveling up was insane but i hit that point in like like four to six weeks like it was insane how much time i spent with that i like lost like you know like 12 pounds like Damn. like everything about my life just changed because that game the funny thing is is that like there's so many ridiculous things that happened at that point that i was like oh my god yes let's go into this skit here with this but the actual stuff in this episode was like Nope. That was just like, yeah, yeah it was just a little gag. Just it was part just of the a little pop culture reference, you yep. know? Uh-huh. No. Let's get into the freaking, like, the Sugeroku, the Suguroku, and yeah. then the um, uh, the misinterpretation uh, yeah. humor with regards to the clothes. Like Those the- two skits are already in, like, my top ten skits of this show. Like, they're so perfectly just <laughs> disturbing. That- <laughs> There, so okay the closest thing that i can Ugh. think of to the ridiculousness of the hanako uh, situation of thinking mm-hmm. i have to cut the hearts out of virgins yes. right in the name of god was in gallivant season two <gasps> when gallivant um, yes when, when yes the you know the one character i forget her name is trying to be the evil queen right mm, yes and learn magic and all that stuff right. and she's talking to this this person that's supposed to like teach her stuff mm-hmm. and he like she somehow thinks that she has to like slaughter a baby right oh and he's like right. no what are you doing like you know yeah like 
And that didn't even come close, right? But that's the closest that I can think of of a joke that another story has done that was along those lines. Right. And that was already in something where, mm-hmm. one, the person's actively trying to be like a dark sorceress or whatever, so right. it makes sense. Mm-hmm. And it didn't go nearly, nearly as, as extreme and insane as it did here. Like, right. the... <laughs> Oh my god! And then the fact that she's like, "Okay, I better bring a knife then." And Olivia's just like, "Wait, what?" Like <laughs> at the very end. She's and like, oh uh, man! Also, I love that this was a skit that evolved yeah. from the idea of Hanako calling up her friends and being like, "Hey, what the hell? Uh-huh. Why did you lie to me and say this looked good? Yeah, it's obviously trash." Mm-hmm. What? They continued with that is that Kasumi is the smarter one of the group in terms of just general, like, overall intelligence. Yep. But the thing is, she's the most socially inept, so she ends up right. in situations where she buckles under pressure. However, what they set up here that was really funny was that Olivia thought it looked actually cute. Right. She wasn't lying. It, but and so, she didn't even say it. Like right, so, right. No, yeah. but no, but I mean, right, right. when Once she, she sends the, the pictures, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. she then goes, "Oh, send it to me." Yeah. Uh huh. Hanako doesn't then realize that. Wait, Kasumi lied to me mm-hmm. and sent me here because she had never seen this stuff. So she doesn't follow up on that because yep. she's so quickly and immediately distracted because the word virgin was used right. in a context that she didn't understand. Uh-huh. And then rather than look up Urban Dictionary or use the internet in a way that, you know, the internet is so, you know, too useful that we found in the previous skit. Oh my God. She then ends up being scared to look it up. Yep. So she accepts the explanation uh, a little bit from Olivia twists it then looks up on the internet and draws her own interpretations from just the images rather than reading about it and i love the rationalization so good like like all the times when she's thinking about Mm -hmm. what this means you know and then she's like but hold on like let's be reasonable about this right Mm -hmm. and i love how she got into freemasonry and how god you know Uh specifically you do anger god when you're a virgin, a virgin over a certain so age 96 so okay so the yeah. oldest new father in the world oh right. my god right. so she's using the internet for actually some pretty crazy you know <laughs> research and stuff oh man but it's just that you know you hear virgin killer and she's like yeah like, what I'm, I'm i'm so confused and then when she looks it up it's like no these are kind of i would say a classier style of look just cute outfits and cute outfits that draw a little bit of traditional kind of right. elements to it and then accentuate the boobs in some way like like basically cute but unintimidating for somebody that doesn't maybe know how to exactly act girls. exactly yeah. so mm-hmm. there's that feeling of it being a more um kind of a century behind fashion but it being fashionably modern so then yeah i guess that's kind of the thing with it but I love that they have all the uh, all the trends with it and stuff. It'd be like, ah, this is the newest uh, viral social media fashion yep, which trend. Which, of course, Olivia would be totally up to date on. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And Hanako, not at all. I, I, I love how quickly she got into the, the paranoid, you know, just uh-huh. look of the whole thing there. Yep. And just like Kazumi could be an instant killer, and she's like, ah, oh, long range sniping. And yeah. then Olivia's like, yeah, yeah, I like Cupid, yeah. And then it's like, would we get convicted for that? And then they the, stole Olivia's, your heart. Olivia's impression, yeah, yeah, they stole your heart. It's not your fault, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought we lived in a peaceful world. When did uh, Harajuku or what have you get so yeah. Mad Max like? <laughs> right. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll. I'll bring a knife. Oh, <sighs> it's it's beautiful. Then we get into what's now, in some ways, one of the best like skits within skit, like yeah. kind of skit. Mm-hmm. We get the memory thing, which I love that the memory thing was just as simple as no, she she had magic cards and she forgot that she used them. Do you get the joke there? Wait, Olivia, like. It seemed like she forgot almost in some way. She's like, "Oh yeah, I was using magic cards." Wait, really? Like, let me let me take a look at the actual final scene there, because she says, "Oh yeah, I use magic trick cards I think, for that memory." Game. I think that was just because it was so long after the uh, the 
the uh, Super yes, Roku. But even if she didn't forget that she had used them in the moment of playing memory to make them laugh and be like, ha ha, uh-huh. yeah. she forgot about it eventually. Right, yes. So I yeah. just found the joke of it being, uh-huh. oh yeah. It was but just, the- yeah, it was just a thing I did. Yeah. Right. But this has so many little mini joke <sighs> skits in the midst of it. Yep. And some of them I'm like genuinely disturbed by. What was the machine gun ass cheek like? Like, yeah, like, yeah. like, <laughs> like turning it, like I'm pretty sure that was 3D animated where it's like, all right, we'll have an actual like, you know. You thought it was 3D? Like, I thought it was just really shitty low frame 2D where it's just I don't like, know. like listen and watch. Like, oh my God. But at the part where it's like the, the rapid fire, not just the one hit. Oh no no that's I I yes that's what I'm talking about. Energy. Yeah, see that no, no, but it looks like there's like like with how the shadows move and everything. Oh wait, yeah. there there is yeah. some there is some 3D. Like, yeah, like, you're right. You're when right. you create a 3D model for an ass <laughs> because it's getting slapped so much that you need it to be in constant motion. Okay. So What's great about this is this is just so good out of context, though. Oh, yeah. Like, uh-huh. It's so yep. good. Yep. And then the crawling on the floor bit. Okay. Okay. We have to tell, like, weird stories now whenever we watch this show. It just, I feel inspired. Mm. So one of the games that I played a lot as a kid was basically the idea of I would chase my younger siblings around and I was the monster, right? Oh, uh uh-huh. Now, they're all younger than me, so if I chased them while I was on two legs... You'd be way faster. I'd be too fast, right? Mm -hmm. But, but, if I ran around on all fours, they had just the right potential chance of getting away. And then you had to be strategic about it and Mm -hmm. corner us in different areas of the house and whatnot. Right, or or just, you know, just whatever, yeah. Yeah. But the the best thing about this game, (laughs) the best thing about this game was that no one cared how stupid I looked. No. No one cared, but... (laughs) One time, one time, I <laughs> whoo, uh, I was a little bit older, a yeah. little bit older. It's not important how much older I was. <laughs> but I had this idea of like, what if we hang out with some friends? I'm like, what if we played like a game of tag? Oh, my God. And I'm like, oh but the God. game of tag is we have to run around on all fours. And all the face reactions kind of turned and looked at me. It was like the... Uh, you know where like the shadows are just <laughs> right. all over the face and just like disgusting like, like, like what and i basically was hanako for a second there because my eyes would not allow myself to look at the people that were giving me obvious negative reactions i looked at the one person that gave a positive reaction and in that moment i realized oh no i think she likes me <laughs> <laughs> Well, she won't if you just go around on all fours making weird sounds, you know, just just do that. Problem but, solved, but, like that. But the best part was we did a little mini game to decide who would end up being it. The, no, see, that was just the brilliant way that all the other people yeah, were like, yeah. They're yeah. like, I'm not going to be it. But if you want to do that, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, my God. But so... So we chose an enclosed environment to make it more intense, right? Right. She ended up getting it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And, and oh, it ended no. up being this really awkward thing that we ended up just calling it like three or four minutes later. Oh, oh my. she couldn't catch. It, it went a whole three or four yeah, minutes. Yeah, because she couldn't catch anyone, and we felt <laughs> so not. bad, even though we were in an enclosed space. Right. Yeah. Stuff. Because. But, you need but, you need like passageways and stuff so that you can like trap points them, and know? yeah yeah exactly. But no, it was so awkward. Oh my and, god! Like after, and after that, that moment, we just didn't talk about it. We just like just oh, kind of moved I thought, on. I thought like, you were gonna say after that point we just didn't really talk. Like, no, no, we just kind of were like, yeah, let's just never do that again. Are you still friends with this person? I might be. You might know these people, so we're just not gonna not gonna. Like, <laughs> It was late. It was it was mm. pretty late, and you know it's, it's a thing. <laughs> it just it just made me think of that because I looked like that when I was chasing you guys, like my siblings mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. But 
but but thinking back, seeing a girl doing this, and in this case, the the girl that did this was not um not so dexterous, if that's a word that I right. can apply here. Yeah. So it well, was. Um, I, I feel like. <laughs> Boys, when they're young, just try the weirdest shit. We they do. Get, we that do. We get really good at really obscure, weird things. Right? Like Jacob had a thing where he would like charge people. And... No, 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 no. It was you specifically because oh, you right, would always yeah. do you would always do the arm thing. So I was like, fine. Your... Yeah, I'll, I'll build up momentum so that you can't do that. I didn't do it that much actually no. because it was I... more like you did it like three times. Yeah, and it was all in like the one like week. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and I realized that 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 didn't that didn't work. No, I yeah. dodge and he'd hit his head on the wall. Yeah, yeah. see, because I couldn't even see if he was dodging because... Because <laughs> he would look down. <laughs> he started looking down. Oh, my God. Uh, the, yeah, but uh, so, but yeah. things like this where, you know, when you're young and stupid and you come up with... You know, really dumb games. Yeah, now, the stuff that... With that story we were talking about, much younger than these girls oh, here. Oh, yeah, much but, younger. But the idea that you stay stupid a lot longer than you would like to admit. That's so right? true. And, you know, so yeah. things like this happening, I could see the, this kind of stuff definitely happening. I got to hear the English tongue twister again from oh, Olivia. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because that was, that she was didn't wonderful. actually say most of it in English. Right. I think the Peter Popsicle part was the only part she did do. But then she just goes, uh, oh, pie. <laughs> like, so she's like, uh, oh, sensei. Uh. <laughs> oh god the tongue twister is so good oh uh, oh man wow. and then the sailor moon whole uh -huh. thing that was wonderful yeah and then and, the kamehameha and kasumi looked like she had like kill a kill hair at that point like i'm not sure if that was supposed to be intentional or something but she totally looked mm. kind of like ryuko or ragyo right there oh my god i I, I really kind of want to do some cringy version of <laughs> oh this, my though. God. Like, no, the, but, okay. Like, if anything like this were to happen, it would need to be so vetted of like, all right. Oh, totally, totally. But the best part about it is that you end up having some completely different person that's not involved mm -hmm. do it, so they can kind of cut a little bit loose. But you do not see the game until you reveal the thing. Right. Like, here's yeah. how you do it. You would end up having the pathway, right? But there would be a card above every pathway. So when you roll, you don't know what you want to roll. So then you, you land on something and then you reveal what's on the card. Uh -huh. And then you go, oh, no. So then everyone behind you knows, oh, that's what that one is. If oh, okay. Another way you could do it mm -hmm. is you could also do it with cards. That way you can well, that's bet. Well, no, 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 no. Like where it's like a deck. That oh. way you can, you can basically... Vet what's, vet what's in there but you don't know what order it is so sure, that way sure. based on whatever happens or things like that i don't know mm. how it would work exactly <laughs> but that way you can just be like all right what am i getting oh no yeah you just like, pull from the deck of many horrible things exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i feel like that could be a good thing potentially to do like with like friends potentially when it's like you've had a couple drinks and you're yep. just like want to yep. just be silly and stupid you know i really think though that would uh. make good streaming content Oh, I, I really think it will. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about this. <laughs> but, hmm. <sighs> Eventually. Stick around long enough. God. See when we no. lose our semblance of sanity no. and get to that point. But, uh, y'all, this was a hilarious episode. It was so much fun. So much ridiculous. Yep. Just cringe and beauty. It was I, wonderful. I, I, I am blessed to have known this show, this experience, these stupid... A stupid awful girls. Scene girls and we still have Love five it. episodes or four episodes left something yeah. like that yeah i think there's 12 episodes so oh yeah. man but y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get on early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us and the community there about this show about anime in general and you can also talk with jacob about the sci-fi novel that he wrote yes i wrote a sci-fi novel called battle lines in case you somehow haven't heard about it mm. um and it's on amazon link in the description down below yeah so if any that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.